So everyone is saying 2020 is going to be a big year. All these prophecies will suddenly be fulfilled. Breakthrough, blessings, dreams coming true. It all just sounds great, really, doesn't it? But does that mean we can just sit back and let God make our lives comfortable with no challenge, no urgency or no call to action? What does all this vision, expectation and weight of significance mean for us? Or in short, what are you going to do about it? Here's two verses that I found helpful. The first is, it's the glory of God to conceal a matter and the glory of kings to search out a matter. That means it brings God glory when we go after him, when we want more, when we just get hungry. He wants us to go after more so that he can reveal more. Secondly, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. It's this wonderful picture of two parties coming together, both of them stepping towards each other. The question is, are you ready to do your part? And these prophecies, this sense of significance isn't a crutch and it isn't a certainty, it's an invitation. Are you ready to respond? If you're not ready, think of it like this. I've seen some comments and videos about how 2020 is going to be the end of the world, that we're all going to die, Jesus will return. Now, I'm not really sure about that one, but what if you knew that 2020 was your last year? Think about it. You've got one year to live. What would you do? Would you comment amen and you'll become a billionaire or like this post and you'll get into heaven it just doesn't quite cut it does it work less take risks speak kindly yes these are good things do them i think you would change loads of things in fact i think if we knew we were gonna die we'd all do two things in particular Firstly, I think we'd get right with people. I think we would say we're sorry more. We'd forgive everyone. We would be so warm and kind and encouraging and loving. We'd host people, bring them into our homes. This year, let's treat everyone we meet like it's our big opportunity. And secondly, I think we'd get right with God. We'd lean on him. We'd get to know him. We'd spend time with him. We'd say sorry to him. We'd repent and we would ask for forgiveness. This isn't a revolutionary new idea, but this is what it looks like to be devoted to him, to live life like you're his and set on fire for him. And this is my challenge to you for 2020. After you've heard the prophecies and felt the stirring, are you gonna burn for him this year? Are you gonna pursue forgiveness and repentance so that you and we all can enter into a deeper place with God? Are you ready to make peace with that person that maybe wronged you years ago? Are you ready to drop bad habits, maybe confront addictions? Are you ready to step up and receive all that God has for you? Go on, treat 2020 like it's gonna be your last. Treat 2020 like it's gonna be your best. Set yourself on fire for him this year.